The rationale behind why we do TMR at Duke and why most people have started doing TMR is to prevent chronic pain after the two major types of lower extremity amputations, above knee amputation and below knee amputation. So as just a history on amputations, uh, we know that intentional amputations have actually been performed since Neolithic times. Um, this is a site near Paris where a group published evidence that a skeleton dated to 4900 BC had evidence of a healed distal humerus with um, intentional amputation with tool marks without evidence of osteomyelitis, um, suggesting that this was a surgical amputation that healed without a major bone infection. And undoubtedly for most of human history, amputations were gruesome. And up until the invention of anesthesia, probably the most important quality of a surgeon was not necessarily precision, but speed, for obvious reasons. Um, during the American Civil War, the introduction of cannonballs and gunshot on a mass scale gave way to a huge number of extremity wounds. An article penned in the Atlantic in 1866 um, by initially an anonymous author gave a first-person account of phantom limb pain, which was increasingly recognized as a real problem in these soldiers. The article stated, quote, I had begun to suffer the most acute pain in my left hand, especially the left finger, and so perfect was the idea, which was thus kept up of the real presence of these missing parts, that I found it hard at times to believe them absent. Often at night, I would try with one lost hand to grope for the other. This article was later found to be written by the neurologist who studied this phenomenon, Weir Mitchell. Um, historically, most of these symptoms were passed off as relating to um, psychopathology uh, or relating to secondary gain, um, but Weir Mitchell, considered one of the fathers of modern neurology, reported on 86 Civil War amputees and coined the term phantom pain for the symptoms described in that article.